So we can't leave this moment or look away thinking our work is done. We have to look at it. We have to, we have to look as, as we did for those nine minutes and 29 seconds. We have to listen. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Those are George Floyd's last words. We can't let those words die with him. Nothing can ever bring their brother, their father back. But this can be a giant step forward in the march toward justice in America. Let's also be clear that such a verdict is also much too rare, and there are those who will seek to exploit the raw emotions of the moment, agitators and extremists who have no interest in social justice, who seek to carry out violence, destroy property, fan the flames of hate and division, who will do everything in their power to stop this country's march toward racial justice. We can't let them succeed. Today, we feel a sigh of relief. Still, it cannot take away the pain. A measure of justice isn't the same as equal justice. This verdict brings us a step closer, and the fact is, we still have work to do. We still must reform the system. Because of smartphones, so many Americans have now seen the racial injustice that black Americans have known for generations. Here's the truth about racial injustice. It is not just a black America problem or a people of color problem. It is a problem for every American. It is keeping us from fulfilling the promise of liberty and justice for all. And it is holding our nation back from realizing our full potential.